Well, St Bride's was built in 1829 and uh, built by wealthy merchants who were moving into this area and uh, Liverpool was a place of huge prosperity uh, in the start of the 19th century. The, the area seen changes over the years and uh, St Bride's was uh, a thriving and a teeming place of worship through the Victorian era. Really by the 1980s uh, things were quite difficult for St Bride's with um, just a, a couple of dozen at worship and uh, when I came to uh, take up ministry here as vicar um, in 2005 there were just half a dozen here on a Sunday morning. Prayer and worship um, as with any church are sort of primary but then flowing from that and to make I suppose good use of the building um, there are, we provide a home for lots of different community projects. Morang operates and brides as a women only space provides hospitality, information, advocacy and support for um, often very vulnerable women and, and their children. So we're based in, um, on Windsor Street in Toxteth, that's where our offices are. And then we have two drop-ins, so one is at St Bride's Church on a Tuesday and the other is on a Friday at All Saints Church in Kensington. We're able to cook a big meal here for the women that we work with. Um, we have space to have a um, a children's area, we have space to have um, counselling going on in a private room. We work with about 200 women. They come from a huge amount of different countries. We have about 53 countries represented. Different religions, different kind of backgrounds, different social backgrounds. Quite a lot of them have been trafficked, which means they've been brought to the UK, um, either kind of tricked into coming to the UK and then kind of exploited when they got here. Anyone who um, is claiming asylum or is a refugee in Merseyside is free to come and visit us. Tuesday evening um, we have the eye choir for people who are suffering from stress or um, distress and uh, psychological or mental health um, issues. Wednesday morning, morning prayer then leads on to a, a sort of coffee morning and quite often um, you know just people helping out or doing different work around the church. Thursday it's the day when food bank happens and it's the Hope Plus food bank project. In this church, if you go back through the parish records, between 1919 and 1935, this church provided a hot meal every day for the poor and needy of the parish. And the parish records say they stopped in 1935 because it was no longer needed, there being no more poor in the parish. So to have to open a food bank here in 2013 in the seventh richest country in the world, that makes me very angry. The fact that people are hungry, that's what brings, us, brings them to us. But we want to look at why they're hungry. And so we set out to provide a hub to provide community outreach services to them. But above all, it was about trying to give people back some dignity because the hardest thing for people to do is to walk through the back door of this church and say, I'm hungry, I need you to give me some food. My name is Akbar Korwani and I came from Iran. Yes, I'm working for Food Bank four days a week and I'll do everything for Food Bank. Last week we, have, we had 220 people. They are from asylum seekers and um, some homeless, some uh, they don't have any money. We help them. Um, I like Liverpool and I like living here. No, it's very good job. <laughs> How many people who walk down our streets that are hungry? And how many people do I pass each day who are lonely? And when night falls, how many people haven't a pillow to lie on? How many people feel sadness? 
Haven't a shoulder to cry on How many children unloved and abused Just want someone to love them And how many old folk who live on their own Just want someone to call on them How many people in pain Find comfort when someone is near them How many people who cry out for help Wish that someone could hear them How many people just need other people To treat them like people should be How many people like you People like me How many people just need other people To treat them like people should be And aren't they just people like you And people like me Thatcherism has always sort of kept a hold in this country, I think. People used to look after each other. People, I don't even know the person who lives two doors from me. People have just stopped caring about other people. Everyone wants to look after themselves. Big house, big car, you know, look smart or whatever. And so that's all at the detriment of community. You can't let um, religion or race stop you from helping other people. These people, some of them are very desperate. They need all the help they can get. And St. Bride's Church over there does a stale job. We are seeing lots more people in need than uh, we would have seen a few years ago. So when I first worked with the homeless in the city centre in Liverpool in the late 80s, um, I think if you'd have told me that, uh, you know, sort of 30 years on, uh, that we would be seeing the level of food poverty uh, that we're seeing now, I, I would have been really shocked. In, in those days, in the late 80s, food poverty was confined to those who were street homeless or had major addictions, and uh, most others had enough benefits and enough of a secure place not to be in, in, in great hunger. People we're seeing now, often people who are in low-paid work, or particularly at the moment people whose benefits have been sanctioned. We're always at our busiest in the summer because people who can normally manage, if they've got a big family and are on free school meals, they can't manage over the summer holidays. A couple of weeks last summer, we closed early because we physically ran out of food. Uh, I would see benefit sanctioning as being very problematic. I don't think there's any other misdemeanour in society that uh, then attracts the sanction of physical hunger and there's something very medieval about that. I mean, Liverpool in one respect is a much better place than other cities because everybody knows somebody who's struggling and everybody knows that we're only a couple of paychecks away from being that person. And so they are more compassionate, but I think generally, as a country, we are losing that compassion. Friday, um, the Red Cross project, a welcome project, for um, refugees and asylum seekers. Um, there's another choir that practices on um, a Friday night, the Socialist Singers, uh, again, a long-established group who um, sing at all sorts of peace and justice uh, events around the city. A variety of projects on a Saturday, often um, uh, we have a meditation day or a community arts project. So, um, a a again, lots of points during the week which people can be fed in body, mind and spirit. One of the big areas of welcome is actually for the LGBT community and uh, we have quite a unique ministry uh, as a place of safety um, in a church which can op um, be historically a place of prejudice against uh, LGBT folk. Um, St Bride's takes pride in being um, a church with gay pride.
My name's Andy. I come here once every other week to maintain the grounds of St Bride's. I used to be the head gardener to the Sultan of Oman for 24 years in London. I work at Kind. I work with the children in an inner city environmental centre. As part of my work I come here and uh, the church pay the charity to keep us going. It's a real shame that St Bride's uh, has fallen into such dis disrepair and decay. Um, I know they're doing a lot to, uh, to try and turn things around, but uh, in some ways they have a huge task. They're just spending uh, around about 500,000 on the roof alone. And then you've got to talk about the, um, the painting and uh, filling of all the walls and all that sort of thing. So really, it's a big task and a big ask. I mean, at the moment, there's no AA meeting going on in there. Because someone's just uh, approached me and asked me uh, about the, um, uh, the way to get in. But uh, they do all sorts of good things to do with There's a food bank happening this afternoon, I think, which is a really good thing. And uh, they're supposed to be a, they, they say they're a progressive church, which is, uh, yeah, that's something slightly different, isn't it? Jesus, my my